West Liberty will begin at the 15. How about that last drive for Glenville State, Coach? 18 plays. They only went 54 yards. It's only three yards per play. That's almost impressive in its own right. But 18 plays, 8 minutes, 40 seconds, and a 33-yard field goal at the end. Conwell to McCallum, and another flag is down. This one might be against DeRay Goodwin for blocking on the edge there. We will wait to see, but the penalty marker landed directly at Goodwin's feet. Yeah, I would guess, and I don't know if there's any way of ever researching this, that that's the shortest 18 play drive in the country this season. I think you would have a safe prediction there as Glenville State chooses to enforce the penalty against Goodwin. It's half the distance to the goal. West Liberty will replay first down from its own eight. First and 17. Conwell drops back and over the shoulder of Ty Peterson. And now another flag is down. This one was thrown after the play. The back judge throwing it and now comes running in to talk to the referee. Well, it can't be delay a game. <laughs> well, we'll see what the back judge noticed. It's a personal foul against the Hilltoppers. Sounded like a 68 there, which would be Austin Whipke. The down counts because the play occurred and then the penalty, so it is second and 21 now from the four. West Liberty going the wrong direction. Conwell in his own end zone, scrambling. Heaves it down the field for Goodwin, and Goodwin makes the catch at the 48-yard line, 44 yards in the air to DeRay Goodwin. We've seen that a number of times. Conwell throws it up and Goodwin goes and gets it. Markeith Dews, the defensive back who was there, 6'2", 180 pound junior. Goodwin with the size advantage and also used that left arm to create some space and make the catch. And now a flag is down as the ball is snapped. Conwell on the move to his left and Conwell out of bounds. Penalty on the play. And we'll see who it's against. How many penalties have we had in the last eight minutes of the game? It's a lot. We'll try to track down a specific number. Well, there was only two penalties at the 13-minute mark of the second quarter. And now we will check this one and see if it ends up being enforced. Right now we're at nine penalties for the game. This would be 10. West Liberty only had six men on the line of scrimmage, five men in the backfield. That's an illegal formation. So that is the 10th penalty of the game. So we have had eight penalties in the last 10 minutes between the two teams. Right now, West Liberty, seven penalties for 47 yards. Glenville State has whistled three times for 18 yards. And add another one to the tote board. This one's going to go against Glenville State. The officials got to talk more than we have yes, they in have. the last 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's your favorite play in football, isn't it? The procedure uh, penalty to go back five yards and then an offsides to go back. And now we're right where we started. <laughs> it's called equal opportunity, Kyle. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. No flags are down yet as Conwell goes forward and he has a big gain. Inside the 30 all the way down to the 20-yard line. The ball comes out, but Dominique Harris is there to land on it for West Liberty. It's a first down all the way at the 17. 32 yards on the carry, and there's a pioneer down behind the play. You can see his speed. When he turns it upfield, he is pretty quick. Lost the ball there at the end. Dominic Harris, though, quick awareness, jumping on it. 
It'll be first down. There's Harris talking to Colabella. He's a senior out of Los Angeles, one of 13 seniors in this team. Final home game for them. Redshirted last year, able to finish his degree in broadcasting this year. Roger Wiley talking about this senior class. It's only 13 players graduating, but originally the class was only 17 players when they came in. So when you look at percentage-wise, this has been a great senior class for a graduation rate, 13 out of 17. couple players leaving the team to focus on academics, focus on school, or just deciding no longer wanted to play football, which happens each year across all programs. Take a look at the seniors here. Again, 13 in this 2015 class for the Hilltoppers. West Liberty will bring the offense back on the field after the delay. First and 10 at the 17. If the Hilltoppers can punch this in, it would be a great answer, and they're right back in the football game. Four receivers. Peterson is the back to the left of Conwell, who wants to throw it. Plenty of time. Lobs it toward the end zone, and it's hauled in. Max Capron with a touchdown. Multiple flags down. Looks like it's going to be defensive pass interference. We'll double check it. But right now, West Liberty with its second touchdown of the game. First touchdown pass for Conwell. And the penalty is against Dews. West Liberty declines that, and West Liberty... A chance to cut it to 10. Great protection up front that time. You talk about a team that came in the country, 10th in the country, or 10th in the country in sacks, and Conway all day to find the receiver that time. Morris. Sends the extra point through, and it's 24-14, 2.27 to go in the second quarter. Conwell with all day eventually finds his man. And West Liberty's within 10. 